Highway News is your local election headquarters looking ahead to tonight's presidential debate, which airs right here on WPRI 12 starting at 8. It's the first debate since Bernie Sanders emerged as the front runner for the Democratic nomination, and it could be the last chance for some of his rivals to keep their hopes alive. Eyewitness News politics editor Ted Nisi joins us now in studio. He's been following this campaign from the beginning. He has a little preview. I guess you could say that Bernie Sanders is on a roll, right, Ted? I think so, Mike. I mean, as you look at what's been happening, you can see one sign of that in where the podium spots are tonight from CBS News. Looking across your screen, from the left edge to the right, you have Mike Bloomberg, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, center stage, and then Joe Biden, Amy Klobuchar, and Tom Steyer. And traditionally, of course, that center stage spot goes to the top-ranked candidate, partly because we expect to see the others trying to draw contrast and have some attacks on that person. Usually, though, by this point in the campaign, although politics has changed now, <laughs> uh, you see fewer candidates on stage, but you still have seven mountain a serious campaign. Yeah, it's unusual, and this really, Mike, I think is the last chance saloon for a lot of these candidates. It's the last debate before not only South Carolina's primary on Saturday, but then Super Tuesday, a week from today, when 14 states, including Massachusetts, will vote. And so tonight's particularly crucial, I think, for Joe Biden. He's banking on a strong showing in South Carolina, where he's had strong support among black voters. He needs to hold on to them tonight and win over some more voters, too. Mike Bloomberg, then, you'll remember, he skipped the early states, so he won't be on the ballot in South Carolina, but he is on the Super Tuesday states. He needs to bounce back after his performance in last week's debate was heavily criticized. Elizabeth Warren, meanwhile, needs to build on the momentum she got out of last week's debate when she hammered Bloomberg. And for the others, they've just got to find a way to change the momentum of the racer. It could be game over for them, I think. So quickly, Ted, are they going to gang up on Bernie Sanders again tonight, you think? That's certainly what you'd expect at this point. They might be finally realizing he's the man we have to beat. They've sort of been overlooking him all this time, but you know what? They've let him get up ahead of steam, and he could be unstoppable at this point. All right, Ted, thank you very much. And as we mentioned, tonight's debate will air right here on WPRI 12 starting at 8. Then tune in for a recap and analysis on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11 and more on WPRI.com.